Cancel Court is an improv comedy show. Some opinions and statements are exaggerated for entertainment purposes. The views expressed on Cancel Court are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of Defiant Digital or their respective affiliates or employees. Basically, we're going to piss a lot of people off, but f*** it. Cancel Court with Judge Tony Towns. In this episode, the trial of the most dangerous rap era. Biggie Smalls wrote a song and his lyrics said, you look so good, I suck on your daddy's d Nobody thought to ask that girl's father how he felt about what Biggie Smalls said. <laughs> and now, let's go to the courtroom. In this quarter, looking like kitten play if they grew up in New Orleans. Give it up for Patrick Cloud in Moneybag Mafia. And in this corner, fresh from the Montgomery bus boycotts, representing the 90s era, give a warm welcome to Craig Smith in Boo Capone. Come to order. Cancel Court is now in session with Judge Tony Towns. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I would just like to thank you for your patience. We put a call in to our AC unit. It is hot as hell in here. I'm suffering like the rest of y'all, so please be mindful that we are in here suffering together today for the sake of the culture. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Right. We are clear. Sure. Thank you. You look like Judge Mathis. Sir, do you want to be thrown out of this courtroom already and held in contempt? Hey, man, are you a crackhead? Listen, Mr. Well, this is going to be easy. Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get hey, no, the right answer no, judge, no disrespect. I love all your movies. Your TV show, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> Mr. Cooper? You can say nigga in court? Oh, that's yeah. This shit don't court. even have AC. You don't think we can say nigga? Uh, Man. Yeah. <laughs> in order, Mr. Cloud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have Mr. Patrick Cloud and his co-counsel, newcomer Mr. Moneybag Mafia, representing today's era. Mr. Moneybag Mafia, What's are up? you related to Mr. Moneybag, yo? I could be, you know. Families don't usually work off the first. Ain't no telling. Why you show up with no clothes on? Nigga, you naked in here. Right? <laughs> you do have an get... interesting outfit on, both oh, of you. Yeah. What is the inspiration? The nigga came dressed like the era they representing <laughs> up in here. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, velour suit in court, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the move. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Cloud, welcome back. Thank you. L last time you was here is about to be some Dragon Ball Z shit with you clashing with Mr. Teddy Ray. And the fact is, oh, no. settle, settle, settle. Y'all ain't taking Lil Wayne's black card. I grew up on it. I grew up on it. Now, I'm, see, see I'm, just, I'm just playing with y'all. I'm just playing with you guys. I'm just showing you guys the passion of a Lil Wayne fan. But I'll tell you this. You are not allowed to touch any guns. You are not allowed to be within five feet of our beautiful bailiff, Miss Ario J. Thank you for being here. If you choose to jump stupid today, I will have your ass out of here so fast you won't be able to say Pikachu. Are we clear? Yes, yes, Are sir. we clear, Mr. Cloud? Yes, sir. I also noticed that the bailiff doesn't have uh, socks. Shut the hell up. Shut up, honey. shut up. So, I'm gonna stay away. And she'll whoop your ass, too, so you keep your ass in that seat. Do you understand yes. me? Yes, sir. Oh Thank you. Hey, Judge, they look like they got on the same outfit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Capone. Patrick might put his ass in the air and let you touch it. <laughs> order, order, order. Now, I'd like to welcome two newcomers to the court, Mr. Craig Smith and his co-counsel, Mr. Boo Capone, who will be representing the 90s era. Go welcome, on. gentlemen, to Council Court. Out of curiosity, Mr. Capone, where did the name Boo Capone come from? Why do they call you Boo? Boo. Well, uh, Boo <laughs> you know, Boo means blessed, uh, open, and optimistic. Mm -hmm. Capone was just on the gangster side. So when you put that together, you're an optimistic gangster. Boo is not an acronym. I just want to float that out there. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank you. B-O-O. Thank you, Mr. Capone. You know, I hear that both of you were uh, some rappers back in the day. Uh, what happened? How did you end up in my courtroom? Niggas started clown dancing, and I wasn't with that. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, you know, I'm a hip hop guy. I'm a lyricist, you know. And uh, once, once it became uh, feminized, that part, I left it to the feminine. I'm from the number one crew in the area. You did? What crew is that? West Side Connect Gang. Bing, bing, bang. Bing, bing, bang. OK, OK, OK. We're not here to talk about you niggas' bing, failed bang, rap bang, careers bang, and bootleg mixtapes. Let's continue. Bang. 
Both sides will have two minutes for opening statements. Next, you will present factual evidence to the jury. We will end with two minutes of closing arguments. Once all evidence is presented, the jury appears without bias, will decide the fate of which era is the most dangerous era in hip hop. Is it now or is it the 90s with a clear and decisive decision? We will begin with the now era of hip hop. Mr. Cloud, please proceed with your opening statement. This clearly isn't a high profile case. It's musty as hell in this courtroom. Uh, I'd like to open up by saying hello to the jury. How you guys hey, doing? Hey, Pat. Um, it is very clearly more dangerous now than it is in the 90s. Um, I say this all the time. There are two jobs out right now that can get you killed, and that is rapper and um, drive through employee. Niggas is getting <laughs> shot over ranch. Was that happening in the 90s, huh? Was niggas getting shot over ranch? It was mustard. Hell it was no. mustard. What did we have now that we're gonna be talking about today? Social media. Hello. Okay? Social media gives you three things with rappers. Access, information, and instigation. All these keyboard Twitter gangsters, all right? What weapons were y'all even using in the 90s? Catapults, huh? I object. On what ground? What kind of weak ass objection was that? <laughs> Use your chest. You know what I'm saying? It was very, 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 very clearly a safe space back then, because you guys didn't, you guys couldn't even follow who you were trying to kill. What were white people doing to keep up with the beef? Waiting for magazine subscriptions? <laughs> Waiting for King magazine? No, we had a pigeon with a, a note on it. We're talking about the, the 1990s, not the 1890s, nigga. <laughs> you was doing all that homing pigeon shit. With that said, we're gonna be talking about social media. We're gonna be talking about other things besides violence that's killing these people, like drugs. Mm. And we're also going to be talking about numbers, straight up numbers. And just out of respect, we're not gonna be saying anybody by name. We're not gonna be trying to make light of any of these deaths. We're just gonna be talking about the statistics and how people can die easier than the 90s. Thank you very much. Take your time. Thank you. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Bullshit. Thank you, Mr. Patrick Cloud. Mr. Craig Smith, please begin with the opening statement, sir. Get up, Craig. Get up. That snowfall ass haircut. Nigga, uh. <laughs> <laughs> <It could> draw! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and people of this esteemed courtroom, yes, today I want to talk about intent, <laughs> purpose. <laughs> I want to prove to you that 90s rap was far more dangerous than this pansy hip hop we have now. You yeah, did. <laughs> I'm gonna start with a little bit of history. I got a cousin. He was, he was born sick. He has an ailment, very rare disease. He can't, he can't shit without coming. <laughs> I was about to behave. <laughs> <laughs> he can't shit without coming. When you go to the bathroom, it sounds like a good time and a bad time at the same time. <laughs> He didn't choose this lifestyle. It was given to him by God. God, God, God. The shit does this have to do with And he's just dealing with the circumstances that were given to him. 90s rap wasn't shitting and coming at the same time. It was intent. When 90s rappers were being gangster, they didn't have, a, a, they didn't have nobody to follow. There was no model. This was real street niggas stepping off the street and taking their lifestyle and putting it on wax. There was nobody that they could look up to. Everything they did was on their own intent. Shot. No influence. Young Thug is trying to be like Tupac. No. Man. These rappers are mimicking Tupac, Biggie, DMX, Jay-Z, who all intended to be gangsters. They didn't know no other lifestyle. A man that has intent is always more dangerous than a man that's mimicking a man with intent. So today I plan on proving, Your Honor, that intent makes you more dangerous than being a copycat. That's my bell, I told you. The trial of the nigga who cut Craig's hair when cancel court returns. I've gone through breakups where you know, I've seen him again, and he looks like shit, because he's going through it, too. Right. And then there's certain breakups, and you look you at him, and you're like, damn, I, why did I leave him again? Mm -hmm. But I, what I do do, though, um, I make these playlists with my ex's names on them. Mm. 
Oh, this yeah. reminds me of Roberto. Oh. I'm telling this reminds you. me of Dexter. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, right. Right. <laughs> right. I, I, just like, yeah. I, I didn't classes. say, yeah, Jamal. don't get you. <laughs> said, don't. None of these songs <laughs> need to remind you. In my playlist, you start, yeah, you start right good, now. everything. By the time you get to the end, I just need you to be at, at Young Dro, fuck that bitch. <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. return of the match. <laughs> Now it's time to present the factual evidence. You have two minutes. Mr. Oh. Moneybag Mafia, please begin with your evidence. The 90s era. The era of dope things. Ain't that right, Buka Pong? Ah. <laughs> we just lean. We just lean a little bit. We just lean a little bit. John, I just want to start this off by saying Buka Pong is too old to have Cradle Cap. Both of them ain't got no sideburns. It's weird. <laughs> It's weird, it must be a Cali thing. <laughs> the 90s era. Let's talk about Tupac. Since that was, a, was that gangster to you? He shot at the police? Shot at the police. He damn sure did. He also went to Juilliard. <laughs> that's gangster. Nigga, that's gangster. I object. Gangster. He dressed and like Robin Hood. I object. object. I object. I object. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And he free Wait a minute. I object. Tupac free ball. Wait a hold on. Just oh, let me go on gangster. The court. On what grounds is your objection, sir? You know how gangster it is to be on your tippy toes, nigga, for a long time. Not that gangster. Well, circumstantial oh, evidence. Tupac with the Juilliard. Live and die in LA. He's from New York. <laughs> he been lying to y'all, huh? The '90s era. Hip hop will make you jump, jump. The Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. Today they jump into conclusions. There you go. <laughs> Preach. Biggie Smalls. Was he gangster? Was the notorious B.I.G. gangster? Court, I have you know today, Biggie Smalls wrote a song and his lyrics said, you look so good, I suck on your daddy's dick. Crazy exchange. Nobody thought to ask that girl's father how he felt about what Biggie Smalls <laughs> said. He was just thrown into that. Was that gangster? Well, for some people. <laughs> It is in prison. <laughs> yeah. It is in prison. See, back then, I, I give you that. 90s day was gangster. You know why? Because they didn't want nobody to know the dirt that they was doing. Mm -hmm. They didn't want you to know who they killed, who they shot. These days, the young niggas want you to know. Right. A rapper got killed last week. When the police came and picked him up, the nigga who shot him left his business card on top of him. That's stupid. That's not gangster. Yeah, he's exactly. an idiot. Stupidity. Being stupid. It's more gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> I rest, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Moneybag that Mafia. Da that Damon Dad's suit jacket you got on. You want <laughs> Put your butt in the suit. It's mm -hmm. hanging out, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smith, one more outburst. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Man, you ain't supposed to have your ass out in the suit jacket on. Condition <laughs> <laughs> exposure, huh? <laughs> Mr. Bucampone, please step forward and present your evidence, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Hey, how y'all doing? Heckle and Jekyll. Oh, Jesus. We love you, Judge. Thank you. Ronnie Cochran, is it? No. <laughs> Johnny, uh, nephew. Listen, man, I'm finna prove with facts, dates, history, that the 90s, the grimy 90s, what did he call y'all? I'll wait. He's, he, he embarked on something called stupidity. Being dangerous and stupid is two different things. That was him. Now, listen, listen, I taught Black how to do this. <laughs> Tell that story. Tell that story. The Y2C. Pac was gangster. Mm. They, they got this unarmed African American, these off duty police officers, stole guns. They stole the guns, they was out killing people, black people. Tupac didn't know this person. He just drove by, they drove by, and they Pac jumped out the car and got to busting. Didn't know they was police. That's the 90s. Right now, you niggas would have tried to pull his pants down and suck his dick. I, I don't know. Your Honor, I object. Boo is a rapper that died in the 90s. <laughs> right, listen. And see, the, the reason, and I'm glad you put that up. I was there in the grimy 90s. I was from the number one crew in the area. Westside Connect got bing me bang. Bing me bang. Bing me bang. Bing me bang. Because you can bet that I'm a vet, that I can dance underwater and not get wet. 
Oh. See, when we was out there uh, um, gang banging and doing stuff, Pastor, you was in an all boys uh, a, a dormitory. <laughs> <laughs> the 90s, let me tell you something, we had a riot. Y'all didn't have no riot. We had a riot in 92. We called it an uprise. The music did it. We are, it was more days. We said, fuck the police. You niggas say Laffy Taffy. <laughs> 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 we, we lived, you know what I'm saying? We lived our thing, but guess what? It wasn't stupid. Because this air is stupid. I'm, I got my phone, nigga, come kill me right now. I'm on three, five, six, block 11. I got a red shirt on. Come kill me. Because y'all ain't dangerous. Y'all want to be famous. First, it was the littles. Lil Wayne, Lil Booty, Lil, Lil Doobie, Lil, Lil uh, Booty? Du, Duval. I don't know the littles. Who's Lil Lil Overdose, Lil this, Lil that. Now it's the babies. Mm. Now we got the babies. Mm -hmm. Lil Baby, Infant Baby, Baby Baby, Lil Baby, Somebody Baby, Lost Baby. <laughs> What do y'all have, big. MC, we DJ? Thank well, you. Yeah. Huh? Objection. Thank you, Mr. Compone. Thank, Thank you. you for your evidence. You may take a seat. He Thank forgot you. where he Thanks. was. Bu Capone was born to be a public defender. Cancel Court will be right back. Mr. Walker. Your Honor, I'm not going to let I, a man listen. with with feet of a bad bitch sit here <laughs> and tell me about the baby and men sucking dick in the parking lot. I didn't even know all white came in women's size. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Walker, one more outburst. I'm gonna hold you in contempt. Are we clear? Okay. Let him have his point. He gave you your time to speak. Calm down, you will have a chance your to Honor, get back up. Honor, Please this continue. this man didn't have the decency to bring a sideburn in the court, <laughs> not barely some eyebrows. And you look like you just left the set of the Ewoks. <laughs> With the costume still on. I was born in the 80s, you know, I have no idea. I have no idea what the Ewok is. Are. LeVar looks like he's being his grandson for Halloween. Now, can I say this? Sir Cloud, do you have any rebuttals to what you heard? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Sir Judge. <clears throat> so, the 90s, what did I just hear? Some, some weird things were said, East Coast versus West Coast. Let's talk about, I don't know, numbers. Huh? I get it. There was some crazy stuff going on in the 90s. 25 rappers were murdered this year! Notable rappers, quote unquote notable, this is just from a website, that died in the 90s. About 12. Mm -hmm. We want to stick to a decade, let's take the 2010s. About 21 rappers, not to mention all of the rappers that were just about to blow up. Let's go back to, I don't know, Chicago. Mm. A 16 year old kid starts rapping, changes the whole face of music. Mm -hmm. This rapper went by the name of Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Started drill music. All right, now we have an era of the most realest rap niggas I have ever seen in my life. Because you gotta think, in the 90s, you, these rappers were just rapping what they big homies were doing. The dudes in the shadows, the real killers, the real drug dealers. Now you got niggas in Jacksonville, niggas in Atlanta, they are rapping literally what they just did outside. Yes, sir. Niggas will kill somebody and then rap about it Talking about who they did it, when they did it, you know, the dates, the people, what they were wearing. You're, there's nothing on these papers that you guys are siphling through. <laughs> Y'all got nothing. Social media, niggas are dying over Twitter, over Instagram lives, over just showing what story they at. Social media gives you full access to a rapper, whereas in the 90s, you didn't have that. And you also had a bunch of rappers that were just rapping what they homies were doing because, I'm, I'll, give it, I'll give it to you guys, it was, they were moving a little smarter. But now you got rappers that will kill somebody, run from the police, and drop a song called The Race! Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> that's my point. That's not dangerous, that's stupid. <laughs> the point is, which one was more dangerous? Doesn't matter if you're in a stupid situation, doesn't matter if you're being smart. What's more dangerous? Mm. Dangerously stupid. Dangerously stupid. <laughs> we forget the violence. Forget the violence. Because violence is hard to, to copy. If you if you're not from the streets like that, you can't just hear young thug talk about killing somebody and go out and do it, right? right? But what about the stuff that is copyable? Pills? 
Lean, you got these niggas shitting on themselves. People don't tell you that. Lean makes you boo-boo on yourself. Those rappers don't talk about that side of things, do they? Mr. Cloud, is this a personal experience? Yeah. <laughs> I've never done lean. Mm -hmm. um, Molly, I'm just Percocets. sleeping. Yeah. Nothing really made me shit on myself. You know what I mean? But I don't be popping pills like that. I don't be doing the lean. It's dangerous. You got rappers dying of liver failure. Mm. Liver failure. Mm. You two, you, you two cups away. I see the, I see the gut. That's a baby elephant. You want to hold his trunk? <laughs> what? <laughs> Your Honor, sexual assault. <laughs> It's not a gun, it's not a stomach. It's not a stomach. Hit the Order. thing, he just told me to it's grab his dick. Mr. Capone, have a seat. One more outburst. My bad, I'm that sorry, That bullshit Ryan. ass suit. You know what I'm saying? You got the sheer numbers. Rappers are actually dying more yes, than sir. they are in the 90s. Yes, sir. And we got sideburns. Thank we you. do have sideburns. Right, we do. I'm just gonna roll with my, yeah, yeah, yeah. With my yeah, homie yeah, on that yeah, one. I didn't get it. It's kind of weak in my argument a little bit. Mr. Cloud, I would like to uh, read something. This is from a legendary rapper named Jay-Z from his uh, famous song, Dead Presidents. And I would like to quote this and make sure this goes on record. It says, I'm here to tell niggas it ain't all swell. There's heaven, then there's hell. Niggas, one day you're cruising in seven. Next day you sweating, forgetting your lies. Alibis ain't matching up. Bullshit catching up. Hit with the Rico. They repo your vehicle. Everything was all good just a week ago. About to start bitching, ain't you? Ready to start snitching, ain't you? I'll forgive your weak ass. Hustling just ain't you. That quote it's poetic. seems to me, it was poetic. It was a, it was a forethought or foreshadow of the future mm. for niggas like Young Thug, mm. niggas like Gunna. A lot of these rappers now, Takashi 6 ix 9 they're catching Rico cases and racketeering cases at an alarming rate. Could that play dangerous. into their logic of stupid? Yes. Because they're dangerous. <laughs> but let me quote a, a current artist. You had all that poetic Jay-Z stuff. Mm -hmm. A current artist. I just killed that nigga last week. Mm -hmm. I shot him in the face right in front of my street. You got real niggas just telling on themselves. Object. Mm -hmm. That's gangster. Dangerously stupid. And we're not gonna act like niggas Objection. from the nineties wasn't snitching too. Objection. We wasn't snitching. Well, what I would you know. what would you say, Mr. Smith, to rappers who are locked up allegedly? Again, they haven't been officially they've been charged, but they're not sent away for life. They haven't been given sentencing. What would you like to say to the to from the nineties era, your era, to now how they're being locked up for these RICO cases, racketeering cases, gang cases. It seemed like they still have one foot in the street and they're still trying to change their lives at the same Gangsta. time. Could you talk about that comparison? This is my rebuttal? Go ahead. Step. Okay. All right. Thank you. It's a little hot still, so it's hot as shit. bear with us. You're sweating through your shirt, sir. No problem. Well, I hear what Mr. Uh, I, hear, I hear what the prosecution is saying. And that's a good little story you told. It's a little bullshit facts or whatever you think, you know, I don't give a fuck about, Your Honor. Um, Bottom line is this, you have local niggas and you have global niggas, nationwide niggas. These new rappers are committing localized crimes. Murder? Local. What the fuck? 90s rappers were a threat to the system. system? I can give you a federal case right now. The great censorship of 1990. Oh. Rappers were being arrested for obscenity at concerts. They were being devoid of their constitutional right to freedom of speech because what they were saying was a threat to the system. These little niggas. What the fuck are we talking about? It's only <laughs> That's not dangerous. I was that scary than murder. Right. Thanks, AWA has been arrested by the FBI at the concert for inciting violence. I see dangerous. The dangerous. <laughs> Somebody typing this? <laughs> local niggas versus national niggas. It's a big difference between being local and national. You need gas money to oh, be Jesus local. Jesus Christ. You need jet money <laughs> to hop on a plane, leave South Central Los Angeles, fly to Coral Gable, Florida, pack up your bags as Dr. Dre. Who's, uh, who else is in WA? Uh, Come on, man. Damn. Who else was in NWA? Damn. Damn. Dr. Dre, pack who else? Pack your bags. MC Rand. Show up to Coral Gable County, Florida. Local. Be tailed by local prosecutor Jack Thompson, who was the person that lobbied for the federal obscenity charges that were being filed on all the major gangster rappers in the early 90s. Uh -huh. Rally up 100 FBI agents. 
Wait for a stadium to fill up with 30,000 people who could potentially be swayed by this new dangerous, independent thinking. Arrest them all mm. for obscenity. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Now that's gangster. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's How is that that's dangerous? That's dangerous two kittens fighting. Yeah, shooting a nigga over a bitch is not dangerous. It's not that's dangerous. dangerous. That's between you, the nigga, and the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. My final, my final oh, argument is this. These new rappers are just monkeys. Mm. What separates humans and monkeys? Mm. Monkeys don't know how to make tools. This is, this is, this mm. is disintegrating. And that's why they're they not mechanics and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? What are we talking about? You ain't never seen no monkey okay. working in okay. Jiffy Lube. Have you know what I mean? I don't they don't have the tools. Okay. Monkeys okay. can't make tools. <laughs> That's why the 90s were more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And what makes the 90s era more dangerous is the fact that those rappers were more intent on spewing lyrics that made people think of freeing their minds and going against the system. Yeah, well, These rappers are leading other rappers and people who like them straight back into the industrial prison complex. And that's not dangerous. That's not just dangerous. stupid. Stupid. Did this Negro just break down monkey wow. mechanics? Cancel Court will be right back. Cancel Court gets a lot of questions. These are some of the most common. Who is the bailiff on Cancel Court? Well, her name is literally in every episode. We put it in the description. We put it in the credits. It's literally right there in front of you. Say hello to the beautiful Ariel J. Who created Cancel Court? Cancel Court was created by the owners of Defiant Digital. Demario Dudley and Kenny McClendon. Is Cancel Court real improv? Cancel Court is 100% improv. No script, no prep. These comedic geniuses are really battling head to head. Is Judge Tony Towns really Judge Greg Mathis's son? Defiant Digital can neither confirm nor deny this allegation. And finally, will Cancel Court ever be a weekly show? Well, America, that's up to you to support Cancel Court and help it grow. Like, comment, and share. From everyone at Defiant Digital, thank you for watching. I just want to continue to make it clear, we're not here to exploit. We're not here to glorify these things. Right. We're here to paint a picture as you did, mm. as you're doing. The picture needs to be clear mm. so we don't make the same mistakes. Mm. I'd like to ask you something, Mr. Mr. Cloud. Uh, Fat Joe recalls uh, Suge Knight's terror in the 90s. This man, by some, was considered a terrorist. He says Suge Knight's terror at the Source Awards. They were not scared of Suge Knight. They were terrified. I mean, terrified. This nigga walked in, bro, with a cigar by himself. Alicia Keys started running. Russell Simmons started yeah. running. Yeah. Niggas are running. Alicia, started running. Alicia Keys started running. Alicia, <laughs> Alicia Keys was born back there. He said there. New York. He was. He was. Excuse me. Was. Every nigga that they write books about, do movies about, these niggas were running because they were terrified. Mm. What do you say to that? Which rapper like has these people running for their lives? I would like to say that in as, as, as scary as Suge Knight was, he was scary because he was the one person doing that within hip hop in the mm. 90s. Objection. Suge Knight was a pyro of blood, and also they were his, they were equals. Keepy D was his equal, maybe even more powerful you than Suge Knight. He had a lot of men in was, He, was, he I, was in the shadows, though. Also, uh... Solar Records. Oh, I can't say this name because uh, I'm scared. Yeah. No disrespect. <laughs> hey, to Craig's, to Craig's point, no disrespect to those people who were running stuff in the shadows. Okay. But it just seems like current age music industry, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of Suge Knights. Hello. Everybody's extorting each other. Everybody's threatening each other. And sometimes the Suge Knight is the one you hear rapping. But here's the thing. Maybe this, this era is not a bunch of Suge Knights. It's not. It's a bunch of mimicking Suge Knights. If it wasn't for Suge Knight, you wouldn't have these minions. You know why, you know why there ain't no Suge Knight seconds. in this era? Please proceed. Because his ass will get smoked. You know what gangster is to us in the 90s? Gangster is taking care of your family. Oh, gangster is it, it just going to college. Anybody got a no, ukulele? No, no gangster. It, it, you, you feel me? Pick Give us somebody that's a pass. Gangster. Goodness no, gracious. Pick it a major. That's gangster. Financial well, aid, gangster. That's gangster. Well, we want to make sure we see a clear picture. Because when you think about the 90s, they were rapping about and glorifying selling drugs. Uh -huh. Now today's era, it seems we did that y'all no. no, no, yeah, are rapping no. and using, using the very drugs. same drugs and dropping like guys. No. 
as you appointed to. That's more dangerous. Jared, no. A lot of them was, was smoking rock back in the no. day, in the 90s, on the low. No. Let's it be honest. Like, no. False. A lot Objection. of them smoked Objection. crack. Right. That, you Mr. Get, Capone? I'm from an organization. Now, this era, they so loaded off lean and perks and all mm -hmm. that shit. They fall asleep before they shoot somebody and shoot somebody else. That's not dangerous. They mm. fall asleep before, before they shoot, they shoot somebody. somebody. Come on, man. <laughs> is that, that dangerous? Is Tupac shot a police officer. Oh, oh my These god. rappers oh, now god. only shoot other niggas. Oh my god, we so don't know that's so true. They're only a danger to themselves. But it also seemed because you pointed out, or, or you might have pointed to this with Snoop Dogg in the 90s, mm. with him being on trial for murder mm. and, and got off. Mm. Did you guys speak to that and how heightened that was and, in the and 90s? I know y'all. that I, was a big deal I in was the there. 90s. I was there. Now, somehow, the evidence came up missing. Right. I don't know. The evidence, the, the, the guns, everything came up mm. missing. So, I don't know, mm. but... But is it dangerous? He walked. Well, it is dangerous. It's the funny. whole situation, somebody lost their life. NBA young boy somebody just did a fair case. Oh, uh, y'all talking about people. That's gangster. Uh, Mr. Moneybag Mafia, could you please mm -hmm. step yeah. forward? Oh, yeah, you yeah, are nigga. stating some interesting points. Yeah, please yeah. step forward to state those points yeah. to our Come on, tell Let them. me say, NBA young boy just beat a fair case. Mm -hmm. No snitching. No snitching. To go home to his kids, take care of his kids. A lot of that kids. ain't gangster? Gangster. I thought that was gangster. One out of a lot. Okay. Young thug them locked up right now. They locked up right now. The case ain't over with. Free YSL. You got this Puerto Rican, Mexican, Spaniard, Takashi 6 9 <laughs> Making a mockery of gangsterism. He snitched. Who else snitched? Patrick. <laughs> Who else snitched? I probably would. Let me tell you something. Let's, let's, let's break this down. You know who we looked up to? Who? These old ass niggas. <laughs> My question for y'all is where the fuck was y'all let when these niggas started acting like this? Y'all were OGs. The OGs don't step in no more. They you sit back and you fucking complain. Objection. You make us Objection. look stupid finish. instead of stepping in Come on. and giving a nigga some advice. Say something. Don't sit around talking about each other and shit. Mm -hmm. That ain't gangster, black man. Brown shoes, blue suit. <laughs> <laughs> Made leather shorts? <laughs> they ain't nice. If the young men these days are stupid, they have to take some accountability. Thank you. Because I'm gonna tell you, only niggas that don't like these young, hot, rapping ass niggas are broke ass old niggas. Damn. Well, because the rappers you look up to that you fuck with that's old, they love these young niggas. That's the end of my case right Damn, there. Damn, come on. I, get it. I got, I got, I got a question now. for Mr. Smith and Mr. Capone. French Montana said this. He said that labels are behind a lot of these maskers because, simply put, they are taking out life, life insurance, insurance policies on their artist, uh, rapper 21 Savage. Mm. He had a recent interview where he says he still wants to be a member of the community, help his hood out, you know, and then when he don't go back, he said, in his words, niggas want to kill him, mm -hmm. he get jealous, and then when he do go back, Man, there's Rico, Rico charges. Right. What do you do? Could you please speak to that? Yeah, Take two things. Uh, in 2007, the hip hop police were formed to follow rappers mm. who were criminals and put them in prison. Most of these rappers are aware that the hip hop police exists. Am yeah. I correct? They and be. they still continue to commit crimes, perjure themselves, and practice buffoonery, knowing that they're being watched. Objection. 90s rappers were Objection. all about getting away with the crime. Their, their argument part. has shifted to stupidity yeah. and not That's dangerous. dangerous. No, Stay on dangerous. It, well, the, the 90s is mm. dangerous and this era is stupid. It's not dangerous. Mm. They're just stupid. Another thing is the RICO Act. All these rappers are, are just rest havens for the federal government's money. They just make millions, commit crimes on camera, and let the RICO Act come in and snatch it. They're stupid. There's nothing gangster about and these just real quick, man. Uh, it quick it kind of hurt my ears when you said French Montana. We didn't have no name like French Montana. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You can adjust the tie. I don't have it. All right, so um, I would like to thank Craig Smith for arguing on our behalf. Mm, thank you. <laughs> um, I just want to put yourselves in some shoes. Let's say it was 50 years ago, you're a young man. Go. And you're trying to be a rapper in today's society, okay? As Craig said, Hip Hop Police formed in 2007. That means hip hop got so crazy, the police themselves said, let's have a ridiculously named segment that just focuses on rappers. Okay. Because rappers are killing, selling drugs, and doing all this crazy stuff. Not only that, Rico's. You're 
your literal lyrics that you just made up to make people dance and think you cool are being used in court cases just like this, okay? Imagine if uh, Musty Footed Bailiffs your right mom. here oh. <laughs> you pulled out one of your <laughs> verses and started saying your art to you to indict you. If you are trying to be a rapper nowadays, you have to worry about the industry eating you, period. Talk. But then your ops killing you, you got to worry about your lyrics being used in court, mm. and you got to worry about some stupid ass segment of the 911 called the Hip Hop Police. 90s, you had maybe one enemy, crack, <laughs> and what else? What else was uh, after you guys in cocaine. the Cocaine. Crack, cocaine. They were snorters. I know Buka Pong. A bunch of stuff. Objection. Let me Buka tell you something. Pong just snorted oh. bowling ball. <laughs> 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 Sir, two seconds. What's, what's, two seconds. What is your objection? Just real quick, you, you, you're wrong because the Hip Hop Police, they started in 97, but they started getting their movement in 2007. Easy E, that was a pioneer. Rest we lost, peace. rest in peace. Man, to AIDS. Our, the pussy was dangerous back then, more dangerous. <laughs> you, you, know, you can even have that sex as a rapper. Was the best you know point you said all day. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> pussy was <laughs> dangerous in but, the 90s. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Cloud. Take your time, Pat. Thank you. Hopefully, we dive deeper in this dangerous vagina when Cancel Court returns. Time, we will have closing remarks. With closing remarks, you have two minutes both sides. So you make a clear picture so the jury can make a sound and decisive decision. Are we clear? We're clear. Please proceed, Mr. Craig Smith. Get up, Craig. Ah, Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the court, it's very simple. What Tupac, Biggie, DMX, the Dog Pound, Death Row, Bad Boy Records intended to do with their gangster, today's artist is a byproduct of that. You have pioneers, Puritans, and then you have strippers and prostitutes that rap. <laughs> pioneers start things. Strippers and prostitutes that rap sell pussy. <laughs> There's two different things I'm arguing here. One is that it's always dangerous to know where you're going, and it's never dangerous to be a mimicker of those who know where they're going. This sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. These rappers aren't a danger to anything but themselves. But 90s rappers were a danger to the police, to the white man, to a white supremacist society. Yeah, that's character. what I'm talking about. Yeah, Thank you. you do Mr. Bang, Smith, bang. Mr. Moneybag mm -hmm. Mafia, yeah. take course. us home. Your Honor. Yes. There's no doubt the 90s was dangerous. Huh? Full of crackheads. <laughs> but this takes me back to my original mm -hmm. argument. Y'all are responsible for this shit. The niggas that you're talking about is y'all nephews and shit like that. Want to create grandkids and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Reverend, the stats show itself. We know that black men are being killed at a ridiculous rate today. We're talking about two niggas, Biggie and Pop. If I was to start talking about the artists that died in the past five years, we'd be talking all motherfucking day. This ain't even a real argument, for real. You niggas are just stuck in the 90s, clearly. Jackson. <laughs> clearly. You right, Jackson. Jeans That's a job turkey right there. Right. Yeah. like a job. I mean, hairs on his chest look like his tattoo. Yeah, I know. It, you, that, that, that watch got medicine in it. So <laughs> 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 Your face come from Lynn's Crafters. <laughs> Your honor! <laughs> That's a good one. This is not about who's dangerous for real. Y'all gotta step up, man, and talk to these young brothers, man. That's what's dangerous, that y'all ain't putting y'all input in. I rest my case. Come on, man. Uh, rest Thank you, Mr. Moneybag Mafia. At this time, we will have the jury make a decision based on the presentations of both sides and based on the facts. It's not up to me, it's not up to Miss Ariel J. Thank you for being here. I know you're ready to get some water because you're hot. hot but you hot, you still hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about her, but it's about you, the jury. The decision is yours. All those in favor 
of the 90s being the most dangerous era of hip hop. Please raise your right hand and say aye. All those in favor, please hands down. All those in favor of now, today's era being the most dangerous era in hip hop, please raise your right hand and say aye. What? Case well done. Case well done, my man. You know, A decision work. has been rendered. Been working with you. And the Ow. most dangerous era of hip hop is today's era and it's now. That is so ordered. Man, that's bullshit. Order to Motherfucker. Man, that's some bullshit. Fuck everybody. Rest in peace to the fallen soldiers. Rest in peace to the fallen soldiers. Bullshit ass corner. Pull your shorts up. Punk motherfucking chair. You gotta change Pull your shorts up. 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 Pull Horrible. Craig is dressed like he's a lead break dancer for a bowling team. That nigga Moneybag showed up to court naked. He had a wife beater on in court. Yeah, in court. He showed up ready for a titty suck. How can you beat that? We won because the facts are there. Mm -hmm. It is more dangerous mm -hmm. for rappers now mm. than it was in the 90s. And we mm. don't want to make anything light of these deaths, mm. but that's just how it is. Pat put lipstick around his asshole and blow kisses with it. Yeah, he do. And we didn't say nothing about that. We didn't say nothing about so that. So I don't understand how we lost. Fashion was disappointing. That was the most dangerous part of the night, Bugapone sweat. A jean suit. That's a what he chose. A, a denim suit. To defend somebody. Yeah. Pat Took is looking ass. Yeah, man. That guy gets under my skin, yeah, man. I don't know what is Fucking imbecile, that's what it is. I don't know he's what is Fucking he. idiot. The OGs, y'all need to get in touch with your YGs. Hey. It's y'all fault. Hey. You want to blame somebody for being fucked up in the head? Blame yourself. Intent is everything, man. 90s rappers were gangster because they wanted to be, not because they were trying to be like somebody else. I think it's time to collect this check. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's go. Hello, man. 